We're going to show you a brilliant alternative to turkey for Christmas Day. Partridge, really, really great flavour, really nice and moist, one bird per portion, and you can happily prepare them the day before. So what we've got here is one beautiful plump partridge. These have been hanging for approximately three to four days, and they're a perfect one portion for Christmas. So first of all, we're going to take a little bit of bacon, we're going to roll the bacon out between uh, two sheets of greaseproof paper, just to make the bacon as thin as possible. And just using a rolling pin, roll it nice and thin, and that's going to sit on top of the partridge as we roast it, to give it a really nice flavour, and also to keep it really nice and moist as it's cooking. So as you can see, bacon's nice and thin. It's going to remove the, uh, the rind with a knife and then we're going to use this to wrap over the top of the partridge. So it's removed the rind, like so. So the next thing we're going to do is to put some really nice butter underneath the skin of the partridge to keep it nice and moist as it's cooking. So take a small amount of butter, just lift the skin up gently and just massage that butter underneath to keep it really nice and delicious and moist as it's cooking. So similar as you do with a turkey really, but just on a smaller sort of smaller sort of base. So that's what we're looking at at the moment. And then the next thing we're going to do is to gently put a little bit of bacon on top. And then that bacon we're going to start to layer over the top of the bird, like so. So now we've uh, put the bacon on top, what we're going to do is to gently put inside some flavours. So first of all we're going to put a little bit of salt and pepper. And then I've got a nice little slice of orange to go in to give it a really nice fruity tang. We've got a, a clove of garlic to go inside. We've also got a little bit of shallots which we've just peeled to go in the, in the middle and we've also got some beautiful fresh thyme. So all of those ingredients can be stuffed inside and the great thing about this recipe is you can now store that in the fridge overnight and then on Christmas day happily just roast it for 20 minutes and it's done. So now on, onto the tray, I'm going to drizzle it with a little bit of oil. So now the partridge is ready, we're going to pop it in the oven for 10 minutes and then we're going to remove the bacon, give it a further 10 minutes of cooking and then it'll be ready to rest. So into the oven, we're going to place it in a hot oven at 220 degrees and we'll check it in 10 minutes time. So the partridge has been in for 10 minutes, it smells great, looks brilliant and what we're going to do is remove it, take off the bacon, we're going to baste it with the, uh, with the butter and then we're going to place it back in the oven for a further 10 minutes. So the bacon can be removed and we can keep that to one side ready for later. And you can see underneath now, we've got that cooking quite nicely. So if I tilt the tray gently, I should be able to pick up a little bit of the uh, juice. Not a huge amount there, but we've got a little bit of butter to go over the top. And then that's going to go back in the oven for a further 10 minutes of cooking. So now the partridge is ready, it's been in for 20 minutes and it looks delicious. So what we're going to do is to remove it from the oven, place it on some tin foil, wrap it up nice and tight and leave it to rest for approximately 5 or 6 minutes. So we're going to cover it nice and tightly with the tin foil and as I said we'll leave it there. Any juice and steam that wants to come out from the bird will hit the tin foil and go straight back into the meat so the meat will be really nice and tender and moist. So there we have it, one partridge rested nicely. So now the partridge is rested for a good five or six minutes, it's now ready to carve. So this is the fun bit. To be honest, you could serve it whole if you wish on Christmas day, but if you've got time and energy, it's well worth carving it. So very simply to, to carve your uh, partridge, we're gonna take off the legs, cut down like so, and then snap the legs off nice and easy. So the, the legs are ready to put on the plate smells delicious, really nice with the thyme as well. So as I've, as I've shown you on the first one, small incision through there, pull it apart and then just rip the leg off. Okay, so now we're left with what we call the crown. So we've got two nice legs. And then one top tip for you is if it gets really, really hot, just have a small container of uh, water, just put your hands in to stop them from burning. So to remove the breasts, we're going to cut down the middle of the, of the bird Okay, down one side of the backbone, and then we're going to remove that first breast. So cut as close as you can to the carcass, all the way down to the bottom to remove the meat. We've got one nice little breast there, nice and moist, really nice and tender. And then exactly the same with the other one, down the other side of the backbone, down the middle of the bird. So for arranging this on the plate, we've got two 
nice moist partridge breasts. We've got two nice little legs to go with it. We've got a little bit of watercress, just as a little garnish to go on the plate. Like so. Which looks nice. And we've got our crispy bacon to go with it. And then we've got a delicious red wine and thyme sauce to accompany the, the dish. So there we have it, the perfect alternative to roast turkey. We have a beautiful red leg partridge, roasted with crispy bacon, watercress and red wine sauce.